going on guys? Today we're going to be looking at the Beat Solo Pro and the Beat Solo 3. Now let's go ahead and take a look inside the box, no beating around the bush. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside and you know, what really comes with buying these headphones. You know, you're gonna be spending around $200 to $250 for some headphones. You wanna make sure, you know, that you know, you're getting your money's worth. Upon taking the cover off, you have this little slogan right here, this little quote, change the way you hear sound uh, on top of the Beats logo again. So let's go ahead and take this off and see what's actually in the store. So it's kind of like a, a little bit of a present type feel. Um, and then here you have your casing for uh, your headphones. You have the Beats in here, I can feel them. Not too heavy, which is nice. And then you have the user manual down here, which is nice. I'm sure there's a sticker in there, I'm excited for that. And then you have a little box inside here. There's not really much else, so we're gonna go ahead and put this off to the side. So I've gone ahead and opened this up and as you can see, it comes with a, a little clip, uh, just so you can maybe strap this onto your backpack or put it on, you know, your pants. It comes with a charger, obviously. Um, like I said, it is that um, micro USB. I don't know if you can see that right there. Looks nice. Looks pretty durable. It's kind of a rubber, rubber coated charger. I'm not gonna go ahead and take this out just because I have my own charger already. You can see the charger and the clip right there which says Beats, that nice design all throughout. In this little thing we have just a couple of documents. Um, get the Beats app, stay up to date. So here we have the Beats um, in, the, in their classic signature pouch. Um, one thing that I will note is that this pouch feels very cheap. It, you know, uh, I feel like they didn't put much thought into it. Um, doesn't seem like it would protect your headphones at all if you were to drop them, which kind of sucks. It's actually, you know, you'd think that this is what it'd be for to protect your headphones. But, you know, whatever. Let's, let's go ahead and take a look at the actual headphones themselves. Here are the headphones just propped down. They look really nice, all blacked out, murdered out. Looks so sick on the right side, on, e on each side actually, we have that Beats logo. These are actually turned on so you have that light right there and there is your micro USB charging port so that you can go ahead and charge them and if you want to go ahead and connect these if your battery runs out or anything you can go ahead and plug in that aux cable right there um, the the hinges on these things are nice they do make that nice satisfying sound if you can go ahead and hear that but one thing I will say is that these look tiny I mean my hand is bigger than these headphones I know that these are probably gonna fit tight on my head and even with you know extending these all the way out they still don't look that big the resistance on the band is kind of tight so I feel like you know if you have somewhat of a bigger head and have these extended out like these over time I feel like the band would kind of get loosened out um, and that's not something you really want with headphones the the leather on here the 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 cushion is is nice and soft let me I'm gonna go ahead and put these on yeah, it feels really good. I'm gonna get into the actual usage of these. I wore these all day yesterday while I was doing work, um, and I have a few complaints. One thing that I don't like about these headphones is that these are not over ear headphones. As you can see, this is tiny. Um, this is not going around anybody's ear unless you have like incredibly tiny ears, which not many people do. So if Beats was able to come up with an over ear headphone, that would be really nice. That because they don't go all the way over your ear, I find that they're just pressing your ear up against your head. So after a couple of hours, like maybe not even an hour of wearing them, whenever I took them off, I found that I was kind of a little bit in pain, 
but it quickly went away but it's still something that's kind of annoying you don't want to have headphones that you know are going to hurt your ears whenever you're using them another thing that i will note is that when i was using these headphones i had these obviously propped up on my head uh this part right here ended up hurting my head a little bit after wearing them maybe it could be that i was wearing them a little bit too tight but again like i said these are ridiculously small i feel like beats could do a lot better with designing headphones that are somewhat bigger when i was wearing them and listening to music they didn't feature anything special there was no wow factor to these headphones simply the music sounded crisp it sounded nice as you would expect some 200 hundred dollar headphones to sound but not anything that would you know make me want to buy another pair or even want to gift anybody a pair or recommend them to anybody enough with these let's go ahead and jump into the pros now as we look at these they have a very different design upon opening the box these are the more expensive version so i would expect for them to put a little bit of more thought into the design process of the box and it seems like they have so much like the solo threes there is a clip right here that also says beats on it and here you have that lightning charger here on the side are some papers that have been strategically and nicely been tucked into here so that there's no extra pamphlet so it looks like the paperwork on this is a lot smaller. Um, you have the user manual right here. And then you actually have two stickers, which is something that I really appreciate. You have that black sticker and that, whoa, 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 sorry. You have that red sticker, that classic logo, and now you have that black sticker. And then you have some safety warnings or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and put this off to the side. We don't really care about this stuff. Taking a look at the pouch, this pouch is different than the other one. It has a different fabric surrounding it. I'm not sure what you'd call this. And unlike the other one, the other one was kind of more of just like somewhat of a sticker. This is actually like a little bit of a rubber coating with the Beats logo on there, which is really nice. Um, also rubber coated zipper, which is also really nice. But I still would say that this feels really cheap. I would want like more of a hard case to make sure that the beats are not being damaged whenever you drop them. Again, we have that matte finish on top. Looks really nice and sleek. The beats isn't as prominent as it is on the other ones. I'm not sure why. And then you have that new design for the adjustment, which I think is a lot better. There's more um, kind of personalization over there. It had those clicks. In this position, you'd consider your headphones to be turned off. Once you open them, they would be on. So there's no actual button to turn them on and off, which is really nice. Um, on the side right here, you have that Beats logo, glossy Beats logo, same on the other side. And obviously on the interior, you have that left and right label. Um, the leather for the cushioning seems to be the same uh, as on the other headphones, which is not surprising to me at all. Uh, the cushioning on top of the headband is also the same. Uh, one thing I will note is that there is that red charger light, like tells you that it's dead. It does not have that um, battery fuel gauge like we mentioned earlier, but at least it tells you, you know, it's red, it's, it's dying. And then right here you have a button that you would think is the power button, but it's not. It's actually for that active noise canceling, which comes in really handy. Just click it, you can turn it on, click it, turn it off. I in the other headphones, the button was on the left side. These ones are on the right side. So there's absolutely no consistency in the headphones, which is really annoying. Uh, you could go from having the Solo 3s and then upgrade to the Solo Pros, and you know, you'd already be used to clicking it on the left side, but now it's on the right side. So that's kind of annoying. Um, one thing I do like though, is that the button is not just the logo centerpiece itself, but it's actually this whole panel. So it's really nice. It makes a nice little clicking sound if you can hear that. Um, so that's pretty dope. Now, talking about the usage of these headphones, these headphones, I'm not gonna lie, they were not that different to the Solo 3s. Um, the active noise canceling was not that effective. I did not like it as much as I did on the Sony's. We're not gonna get into the Sony's, but it just wasn't that good because these are not over ear headphones like I mentioned before. The active noise canceling doesn't really do the best job that it can. So that's, I don't know, I, I just don't really like it. 
I do like that the charging port is the lightning cable so you can easily go from charging your phone to charging your headphones. Um, like I said, I had similar problems with these as I did with these Solo 3s. That same pain that I get from my ears is prominent in this one as well, along with that pain on top of my head. So that's really unfortunate. Um, thank you for tuning into our video. Um, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and comment which headphones you would actually purchase yourself. And if it's not either one of these, comment which headphones you have and why you think that they're the best. As always, down in the description is going to be our Instagram and our website. So go ahead and check those out. Show some love. Um, follow us on Instagram. Uh, check out our blog. And we'll be back next week with a new video.